listening to those old tunes again? Old tunes? Show some respect. These rapturous melodies are life itself. Uh, okay. Come here. I can't breathe! Could you turn that down? What was that I just heard? Surely it couldn't be someone interrupting this fine song I'm listening to. Well, what do you think? It's positively effervescent, right? I feel like I'm getting older just listening to it. Ha! What are you on about? Besides, most things in life are like a fine wine, and only get better with age. At any rate, what brought you over here to see me? I doubt it was because you missed me. Did you come to borrow my nudie mask? What? Absolutely not! I'm too young to be looking at stuff like that! <laughs> so what you mean is that you'll be super into it later? It's not that at all. Uh, anyway, the commander is calling for you. He has something to tell all of us. Right now? I think I've got a good idea of what he's going to say. Fine. Let's go. Um, any chance you could release me from this headlock before you go? You call this a headlock? Please, it's just a friendly hug. Call it what you want, but it's uncomfortable! Would you prefer a piggyback ride? <sighs> it's fine. Let's just go. Hmm? Are you two practicing pro wrestling? You apparently have too much time on your hands. It's not what you think! Are you guys wrestling? Never a dull moment with you two. That's not what we're doing. If I may throw in my two cents, wrestling isn't a particularly useful martial arts discipline against raptures. Devoting your time to practicing it will be of little value. We're not wrestling! Ah, oh, wrestling, eh? That headlock of yours isn't too sturdy, Red Hood. I've got a few videos you could check out for reference if you'd like. Lilith, Red Hood is bullying me. No, I'm not. We're practicing pro wrestling. That's what Red Hood said. How many times do I have to say that this isn't wrestling? Oh my, you're awfully upset. Are you too re- no. So am I to take it that Red Hood is picking on you? Hey, I would never pick on our precious little Snow White. <sighs> I think that's everyone. Have a seat so I can begin the briefing. Question. Are we allowed to sit in a headlock position? Up to you. <laughs> is that everyone? Scarlet? Rapunzel? Here. Dorothy? Here. Lily Weiss? Here. All right, I'll begin. Could you all sit closer together? How come you're all so far apart? We're supposed to be a team. If you want us to be chummy, then let's have a group meal. I can't remember the last time we all hung out and had some grub. We all ate together just last week. Hmm? Mm. She passes out whenever she drinks, so it's no wonder she doesn't remember. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but lately, whenever I have a few drinks, I don't remember anything. I thought you were pretending to black out so you didn't have to pay the bill. Come on, I'm not that kind of person. I heard you got arrested once for dining and dashing. That's all in the past. I've turned over a new leaf. Quiet, everyone. I have details about our next mission.
Good. Now, to get started. Hmm. To be honest, I'm not a fan of our squad's name. Goddess Squad. It's like I don't even exist. Commander, when are we going to commence the briefing? <coughs> Very well. Let's begin. While we proceed, and we're having. Let's move out. Hungry. All of us in this room know things are looking bleak. Four years ago, the Raptors invaded. To stand against this naked aggression, the United Forces of Humanity was formed. We fought with all our might, but the battle has increasingly leaned in the Raptors' favor. To this day, the situation remains largely unchanged. However, starting two years ago, we have experienced the occasional victory. And these victories are occurring more often now. You're right about that. Once the Goddess Squad was deployed to the battlefield, we have been able to secure a small foothold and turn the tide of this skirmish. Of that, you can all be proud. The sooner you're proud of yourselves, the better. So you can start now. Wow, our squad is the best. That includes you, Rapunzel. Uh, uh, okay, I'm proud to be a member of the Goddess Squad. What's there to be proud of? This was all a foregone conclusion. There's that snooty Dorothy we all know and love. Ooh, 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 ooh. You must say it's a foregone conclusion, but that's not what most of the general public believes. Dorothy's told you several times before not to call her snooty. It would be the 56th time if I issue a warning again, to be precise. At any rate, I prefer not to pat myself on the back in such a self-congratulatory fashion. Huh. The newcomer doesn't seem too proud either. How could I be? My time in this unit has been most fleeting. Furthermore, boasting of past achievements is not something I partake in. A lot of people would kill to have something to be proud of. Perchance, but not I. I have but one wish. To become stronger, nothing more. To place so much credence in the thoughts of others is a sign of one's naivete and inexperience. That's hardly something you should be saying. You're the one swinging a sword around. What do you mean? Hanging around in the backyard playing war with wooden swords is a favorite childhood pastime, is it not? If thou thinks my blade is a wooden constitution, then allow me to prove how fallacious that notion is. How about you skip the briefing and head outside to train? At least then we'd have some peace and quiet. You're all not fighting again, are you? Hardly. We're just having some playful banter. If I may continue? We may have had a commendable winning streak during our tenure on the battlefield, but the same cannot be said of our fellow military units. No matter how well we're performing, we have to look at the situation as a whole. In the grand scheme of things, our contributions don't amount to much. More than anything, we've primarily served to raise morale. We've given people hope, so that they feel free to dream. Regardless of our own achievements, we're just a small unit and our contributions only go so far. The United Forces of Humanity on the surface are running out of supplies and have suffered one loss after another. Raptures have continued to breach the barriers. The power disparity is evident from nearly every angle, be it the number of their forces or the level of their weaponry. Would a declaration of surrender be a feasible option? We're unable to communicate with them in any way, so I doubt that would work. Did you tell them about my idea of waving a white flag? Of course I didn't bring up such a ludicrous suggestion. 
You don't have to be mean about her. At any rate, a direct confrontation against the Raptures is a lost cause. It's painful to admit, but humanity doesn't stand a chance against these creatures. So an all-out offensive would be tantamount to suicide? Correct. Based on our observations of the Rapture's movements thus far, we've been led to believe they operate according to a linear chain of command. All of them appear to only have basic input functions except high-ranking Raptures. In other words... There's a head. Huh? Don't they all have heads? That's not what I meant. I don't get it. Basically, a leader of some kind. Precisely. Ah, so the big cheese. The big what? That's what we call the boss or leader in my neck of the woods. Can I continue? Go right ahead. Our mission is clear. We need to take out the big cheese. Uh, I mean, we need to take out the Rapture's leader. Have you figured out the Queen's whereabouts? We still don't have a precise location, but we've ascertained her general whereabouts. We've investigated all the previous areas pointed out to us, but weren't able to find any traces of the Queen anywhere. It's enough to make you wonder if the Queen even exists. No, there's still one place we haven't checked. The most vast expanse of them all. You don't mean... I do. Space. Kneel before my mighty firepower! Reload. Performing reload sequence. He's talking about the left. That's right. Amongst all the chaos and pandemonium of the initial invasion, they managed to slip it past us. One of the first things those creatures did was destroy the shuttle launch pads in various locations. We initially thought they were randomly targeting large-scale facilities. But upon further reflection, we have seen that there was intent behind their attacks. As we speak, they've amassed an overwhelming number of troops near the lift. It's highly suspect. There's no way around that. My thoughts doth lead to one conclusion. There's something out there in space. So, we've got to take the lift up into space? Correct. The lift leads to a space station. We suspect that is the lair of the Queen, and the source of all Rapture production. Will we have any support? There are throngs of Raptures guarding the lift. It'd be impossible for us to break through their ranks alone. Hey now, where's your confidence? There's a fine line between confidence and hubris. So are you saying we can't do it? That we should just cut and run? Not at all. I think that's enough suspense for now, Commander. Everyone's clearly on edge. We're on the cusp of being able to mass-produce Nikkei's. Last year, around 200 were manufactured, and not a single one had any defects. Around half of those will be joining us. That's it? What about air support? None. Stormbringer brought our air supremacy to a crashing halt. Can't we just lob a few cruise missiles at them? Have you forgotten what happened when we last fired an ICBM? A new breed of Rapture we hadn't seen before swallowed it whole and converted it into an energy blast which it redirected back at us. Everything within a 20-kilometer radius was completely decimated. Yeah, but didn't it end up dying immediately afterwards? These are Raptures we're talking about. I highly doubt that's the only one of its kind out there. So we're incapable of aerial attacks and missiles are a no-go as well. What's the plan then? Rushing headlong into the fray with our mass-produced buddies behind us? I thought there were supposed to be over 200,000 raptures encircling the lift. Are we just gonna plow our way through them all? Correct. Hmm. What are the odds? 
Of coming out victorious? Of coming out alive? Hard to say. There are only two options. Either we live or die. So, 50%? Are the mass-produced Nikkei's really our only support? Not necessarily. We might have a secret weapon at our disposal. Tell us more. All I can tell you is that we will win. Hmm. Well, you seem confident enough. I say let's go for it. Worst comes to worst, it'll be one hell of a way for me to go out. <sighs> hmm? What? Oh, right. The newbie swordsman doesn't know, does she? Just a moment. Oh. Bet that's the first time you've seen it for yourself, huh? It's not just the eyes. When I'm in a real tight spot, my voice changes too. But does that mean... Yeah, I've been corrupted. Get him! Like this! Reload. Some hearsay hath reached mine ears. Any Nikkei who is struck by a particular rapture tentacle proceeds to undergo a particular affliction known as corruption. They become deranged and attack all with reckless abandon, including their own allies. I surmised twas but a fool's tale or nonsensical wagging of tongues, but... How's it feel to know the legends are true? That I cannot say. Yet, judging by your countenance, tis not an overly treacherous situation. There is but an unnerving crimson that glows from thine eyes. Apparently, the symptoms vary. There are times when they appear almost instantly, and then the other times they linger for extended periods, like myself. We've actually just recently received some new information about that. From VTC? Yes. This so-called corruption phenomenon seems to be evolving. In the beginning, it took time for symptoms to fully manifest, but the latest iteration takes hold almost instantly. We've become aware that the device, dubbed Codename Ultra, which caused this corruption, is from an older generation. How long does it take until it assumes full control? VTC is continuing to look into it. They should have an answer for us soon. How hilarious would it be if there's only a week left? Uh, that wouldn't be funny at all. I know that. Sometimes you have to pretend that things are okay in order to get by. But you're not okay by any stretch of the imagination! Hmm... Anyway, I'm retiring after this operation. I want to spend the rest of my life kicking back and taking it easy. Right. I understand. So what's the course of action, boss? We aren't really charging ahead without any plan, are we? Tomorrow morning, we will go to Elysian's third Nikkei research lab. We'll be picking someone up, and I expect you all to be nice to her. Who? I haven't revealed this to any of you yet, but I have a daughter. Excuse me? Allow me to explain. Apparently, the newest iteration of the Grimm's model is complete. It's referred to as Cinderella. Her accompanying sidearm, glass slippers, is complete as well. She's undergone rigorous simulated and practical testing. We are to meet up with Cinderella and make our way to the lift together. Does Cinderella's ability have any relation to the operation? Adding another member to the team is far from a bad thing. But isn't it risky adding someone we're unfamiliar with? And on such a pivotal mission, too. There's no need to be concerned on that front. She's been designed to specialize in Blitzkrieg tactics. Complete annihilation done in as little time as possible.
Her capabilities are comparable to any airstrike or ICBM. After she has fulfilled her role, she will take her leave. Is she really that powerful? Apparently so. The Big Three have pumped more money and resources into the Grimm's models than any other. In your encounters with Raptures, you're nearly undefeated. As a result, Nikkei production has largely splintered off into two distinct directions. Mass production types and specialized models. Those who are deemed to be less self-assured are turned into mass-produced models. Those who possess greater self-confidence and can better express their powers are eligible to become specialized models. Manufacturing Grimm's models requires inordinate amounts of money and technology. The original plan was to veer towards increasing mass production, but since you all have done such a bang-up job, the Big Three have decided to shift gears and funnel more money into building a second generation of Grimm's models, of which Cinderella is the first. Her strength must be most formidable. If we're talking about specs alone, she most likely exceeds all of you. Perhaps even me. Don't say that! No one's stronger than you, Lilith. Good grief! Do you really like her that much, Snow White? I know I'm right. If you want to be a capable fighter, you need more than just solid specs. That's true. So, according to you, her specifications exceed all of ours. Then it would be advisable to practice some sparring with you all in advance. Since we're on this topic, I have been itching to spar with you all for some time now. Scarlet, if it's a fight you're looking for, then wouldn't it make sense for you to best me, the leader, first? Hmm. At any rate, that concludes the mission briefing. Any questions? Do I get anything like a corruption allowance? A per diem, perhaps? Ah, <sighs> Red Hood. Jeez, I'm only kidding around. How come you're all staring at me like that? <sighs> hmm. No questions, Commander. Then we're done. We'll be moving out early in the morning, so everybody get a good night's rest. I've got to go. <sighs> hmm. Why don't you go cheer her up? Wouldn't it be better for you to handle that? You're her friend. If I go, there's only so much I can do for her. Ugh. I hate this kind of stuff. Be that as it may. Fine, fine. Here we go! Reload. Victorious once again! Hmm. Hey, kid. <sighs> What's got you so down, huh? You scared? Mm, Red Hood? You shouldn't boast about being corrupted. Hmm. Don't do that! Give me an answer, and I'll stop. <sighs> You're dying. You may be fine now, but it's going to take your life sooner or later. Relax, kid. Why would I die? So my eyes and voice are a little funny looking, and I can't recognize my parents anymore. What's the big deal? That's dying! How do you figure? I'm standing right here. I'm alive and kicking. Losing your memory is another kind of death. Should I let you in on a little secret? Mm, what is it? As long as someone remembers you, death is an illusion. Because you live on in other people's hearts. Uh, where did you crib that from? A cartoon I saw when I was little. <laughs> I think it might have had something to do with drills. 
Oh, would you please be serious with me for one minute? Good grief for being so young. You're a real worry ward. Why are you getting so worked up over something that hasn't even happened yet? You never know. I might end up being the first Nikkei to beat this thing. Do I look on the verge of death to you? It's just taking time to fully manifest. Okay then. How do we know that won't take a few decades? Or centuries even? We don't know anything about how this stuff works yet. <sighs> so cheer up. Nothing bad has happened yet. Mm. Okay, fine. I'll try not to worry as much. Good. Now I'll be able to die in peace. Don't say things like that! <laughs> it's just too much fun getting your goat. Wanna listen to some music? It's not that old song again, is it? It's not old. It's a classic. And classics are always the best. Ah, uh, fine. Red Hood? Yeah? Are you really calling it a day after this operation? Yep. I'm going back home. Why can't you just stay here? I can't. Why not? Hmm. I caught a lucky break becoming a part of this squad. I've experienced enough for several lifetimes. But this isn't the place I should be. I'm just a country bumpkin from a worn down and rowdy village. That's where my roots are. I should go back to my roots. The wolf must... Uh, anyway... Yeah. I don't understand what you're saying. It doesn't matter. It's better that you don't. Oh, right. This is for you. What is it? <sighs> it may have a bit of wear and tear, but it's a famous brand. The sound quality is out of this world. There's also a hidden compartment here where you can... I don't want it! Kid! Why would you give me this? This is your most treasured possession. The only reason you'd be giving me this is if you knew you were about to die. Relax! I just bought a new one, that's all! You said yourself that classics are always the best! And you're far too thrifty to be giving away something like this. Aren't you being a little harsh? I don't want it, and I won't take it! Hmm... Darn. She's nothing if not perceptive. Mm, I'm anxious. Rebo. We'll be at Elysion's third Nikkei research lab in about an hour. Is everyone prepared? What's there to prepare? What's so different from us making a typical visit? If we landed directly by the lab, the raptures would swarm and encircle us. So we'll be landing nearby and going in on foot. I guess I need to prepare. Snow White went into the workshop last night, and she's still there. Looks like you had some trouble comforting her. Yeah. After all, this is my first time dying, so I didn't exactly know how to console her. I wasn't sure if I should be sitting around wailing with grief or pensively reflecting on all the good times. I figured neither was the right approach, so I went with giving her a gift. She refused to take it and ran off. I can see why she refused it. It probably felt like you were giving her a keepsake after your death. So what do you want me to do? Did she say anything else? She kept urging me to stay here and not to return to my hometown. Hmm. Is that something you would ever consider? Lady Lilywise, I've already told you, I don't fit in here. 
I'm no goddess. I spent my entire life ambling about the streets without any purpose and nearly got myself killed as a result. Now I've got everyone telling me that I'm special. I was turned into a Nikkei and sent here for no apparent reason. You're one of the youngest ace pilots in the history of aerial combat. Rapunzel could have been the next powerful religious leader. Dorothy is the daughter of a reputable politician. Then you've got Snow White and her superhuman knack for developing weapons. I can't even pretend to be on your level. Scarlet is the only one amongst us who I can possibly compare with. Even then, though, now that I think about it, she's a gifted swordsman. A street urchin from the filthy back alleys couldn't possibly hope to compare to all of you. Well, from the way I see it, I don't think there's anyone better suited to be a goddess than you. I see you're getting better at sarcasm. If you don't see it that way, then there's nothing I can do to convince you otherwise. But we all think that. Why do you think Snow White keeps begging you to stay here? You're more qualified to stay here than any of us. So I suggest you reconsider. You should be spending as much time with those close to you as possible. No can do. I've got to go back to my hometown. That's where my story ends. Accompanied by an old soundtrack from back in the day. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. But ask yourself. Is going back to your hometown what you really want to do? What? <laughs> hmm. We've reached the drop-off point. Does everyone have parachutes? Of course. Did all of you memorize the coordinates? Yes, no problem. All right then. Whoever's ready can jump out. I'll go first. See you all in a bit. I figured she'd go first. She should be able to break through the atmosphere without any additional equipment, right? I'm not 100% sure, but it should be possible. Prototypes typically are capable of many things. Hey, kid! <sighs> You want to jump together? Snow White going down! Fine. Be that way. Apparently, she's still holding a grudge. Speaking truthfully, I have difficulty seeing where both of you are coming from. Breaking down people's barriers... is what you do best. Good luck. Red Hood! Good grief, you too? Is everyone gonna make a speech before they jump? No. I just wanted to say that I'm going with the commander. Oh. Well, be careful out there. Bury the hatchet. Otherwise, you'll come to regret it. What are you talking about? We didn't even fight. Anti-aircraft guns confirmed. What? What is this? You said there were no raptures nearby. It's coming from the research lab. What? Damn, we're too late. The raptures beat us to it. Parachute has been compromised! Commencing emergency landing! Snow! Snow, do you copy? To hell with this! Out of my way! You don't even have a parachute! I don't care! Wait! I... I'm okay. No significant damage to the armor or weapon. I have to contact Lilith. My radio is down. What should I do? Should I head to the lab and join the others? Huh? Enemy aircraft confirmed.
<laughs> They're going down easily enough. We've got ammunition to spare, and Seven Dwarves is doing fine. So far, so good. Come here, kid, and listen closely. Y yes Pick up those magazines. Uh, okay. Put one of them in your pocket. Uh, done. Put the other in your weapon. Done. Now aim it. Are you back with us? Yes. Thank you. Good. Now. What do you say we deal with these guys who have given us such a warm welcome? Just focus your firepower and aim where I'm shooting, like we always do. Can you do that? Yes. Good. Now sound us off. You want me to do it? You don't often get a chance to, so why not? It'll cheer us up, I'm sure. <sighs> Encounter! All clear. Boss, Lilith, I'm with Snow. How are things on your end? The lab is completely destroyed. All that's left are corpses. Make your way here. There's something you two need to see for yourselves. On the way. You should be about 20 minutes out. Should we send an escort? Commander. Hmm. On second thought, we've got our hands full over here. You two will have to make it on your own. Roger that. Let's go. Uh, okay. Mm. <sighs> do you want to listen to some music? Uh, do you want to attract raptures to us? Look around you. Do you see any raptures wandering about? We wiped them all out. There isn't a single one left. If you ask me, rapture slayers would be a more apt name for our squad. So how about it? Should we kick out the jams? Oh, do whatever you want. Hmm. <sighs> Snow? Mm. Do you have anything to say to me? I could ask you the same thing. Um, let's see. You're doing good so far, so keep it up. You're trying to skirt around the issue again. Hmm. Kid? I'm dying. But you said you weren't. Well, I am. I'm going to die. As far as we know, corruption is untreatable. But if I'm being honest with you, I'm just clueless about what I should do. The end is in sight. But I don't know where to turn. So you tell me what to do. I'll do whatever you want. <sighs> I only want one thing. I want you to live the way you always have, with us. I want you to be together with us until the last moment. Don't leave us. That's all I ask. Hmm. Fine. I suppose I can do that. Since you're the one asking, I'll do my best to accommodate you. You're not 
not upset with me, are you? Uh, no. Then how come you're pouting, huh? Oh, it hurts! Ugh. I said stop! Let me give everyone a sit rep. This lab has been besieged by over 200 raptures. We've confirmed that there are at least four Ultra units among them. The ones who are calling the shots. This means in addition to the sheer size of the attacking force, there were high-class raptures amongst their ranks. This was all meticulously planned from the beginning. They had all their ducks in a row before they attacked. Are we to presume they came for the Grimm's model? That would be safe to assume, yes. The facility is in ruins. Both the human employees and the Nikkeis inside were slaughtered before they knew what was happening. That includes the two Grimm's models that were currently in production. They're damaged beyond repair. The damage is so extensive that it almost feels as if it was done with intent. Out of some kind of hatred. Cinderella is also missing, including her specialized sidearm glass slippers. So she wasn't destroyed along with the rest? We can't say if she's been terminated, or whether she's wandering around somewhere. Also... It might be best to simply show them. Yes. You all need to understand the gravity of the situation. Follow me. What is it? Whatever it is, it's enough to make one's blood run cold. My god! Did they implant a Nikkei with rapture parts? Look here. Mm. <gasps> They've been fused together. Is she still alive? No. She's dead. No signs of trauma. She must have died of shock. The only thing is... Alive. Only the rapture portions, to be precise. That means. Yes, not sure as to how or when, but at some point, experiments were carried out where a rapture and a Nikkei were fused together. I believe the shock brought along by the fusion process is what killed the Nikkei. I think it's safe to say that this process was initiated by the rapture side. The raptures are up to no good. First the corruption phenomenon, and now this. I'll report this to VTC. I'll also notify my superior. Are we going to leave it like this? Yes. It's noteworthy that the rapture portion is still alive and operational. It will help with the research. We'll stay here and safeguard it until the higher-ups come to retrieve it. And after that? <sighs> we were going to join up with Cinderella and go to the lift. But now she's missing. Are we going to look for her, or should we all head to the lift? Hmm. I was planning on discussing that with Lilith. I will advise you in the morning. Okay, understood. It's strange. What is? The recent behavior of raptures. Strange. You feel that way too? Don't you? Yes. First the corruption. Now this ungodly fusion process. As far as I can see, there's no reason why a rapture would want, or need, to do something like this. If we're being brutally honest, the raptures are superior beings. They can afford not to change anything. Simply focus on attacking us and soon, they'll enjoy an easy victory. So why would they bother with all this? <sighs> Tell me what you're thinking, Rapunzel. Playing with us. Hmm. It's like a cat toying with a mouse. Agreed. In their eyes, we're not even worthy of their full attention. In matters of war, such hubris usually leads to one's downfall. Well, I say let's be the ones to initiate that downfall. <sighs> Kid, why do you keep fidgeting over there? Oh, this? To prepare for us being isolated like before, I made some simulations to pass the time. Like a video game? 
You made an entire game that quickly? Let me play one round. It's a simulation, not a game. Any chance you could put some of my music in as background music? Oh, I don't think that genre would really gel with this. Haha! <laughs> you see? You said genre, so it's totally a game. <sighs> Come on, don't be like that. Just let me play for a, a little bit. Ugh! <sighs> Ah, uh, my head. Are you okay? Lay her down. It, it, it's okay. Every once in a while, you, you get a rough spell like this. <sighs> Kid, come over here and uh, help me. I, I left something outside. Hmm. That ungrateful. Don't talk and just lie down. I'll bring her back. Uh, no, I shall fetch her. You two tend to Red Hood. Hmm? Hey, swordsman. Don't be too harsh on her. She, she's still young. If you harm a hair on her head, I, I, I'll kill you. Noted. Uh, enemy spotted! I say we search for Cinderella. I hate to admit it, but the odds are stacked against us without her. But what are the chances that she's even alive? How are we going to find out where she went? We may not know how to go about it, or how long it will take, but we've got to figure it out somehow. Hmm. Lilith, you do know that we don't have much time, right? <sighs> you mean Red Hood doesn't? Yes. It sounds to me like we're signing our own death warrants, all for the sake of giving Red Hood a supposedly fitting end. You may think that, but I believe we're going to win. If you ask me, you're an idealist. Hmm. I've just gotten orders from the top brass. They want us to dispose of Red Hood. They're nothing if not decisive in times like these. Corruption is something they still know very little about. For them, Red Hood is a walking liability. She's one of the goddesses as well. If it comes to light that one of the renowned goddesses of victory has been tainted in any way, public morale will take a nosedive. So they want us to get rid of her, but to give her a warrior's death while we're at it. Precisely. That's horrible. Agreed. <sighs> I'm not even sure what would constitute a fitting end for her. Or us. <sighs> Commander. Do you remember the first time we met? You said I was a mercenary who would do anything for money. I didn't use those exact words. It's just that at the time you were a little rough around the edges. So I'm slightly more refined now, is that it? You've paid no heed to commands from your superiors, and instead done what you felt was right in order to get the job done. It's thanks to you that we were able to come as far as we have. We all trust you, Commander. So do what you want to do. In a situation like this, an order from your superior officer means nothing. That's true. No matter which path you choose, none of us will challenge you. Well, can I shed a few tears at this point? I'm afraid that would not be advisable. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, hey, Scarlet. 
Why perchance did you flee with such haste? Who said I ran away? I... I just went outside to get something. Very well. Then let my eyes look upon what you came to retrieve. <sighs> I shall ask once more. Why did you flee? <sighs> I... When it's Red Hood's final... I don't want to be there. Huh. <sighs> if there comes a time when she needs to be put out of her misery... I... I don't think I could handle it. I shudder to even think about it. Why then did thou discourage her from returning home, and with such fervor? I, I just wanted her to spend as much time with us... before the end. Thou art most selfish. You wish to witness Red Hood's last days, yet do not wish to be caught in the midst. Who is Red Hood to you? A playmate and nothing more? If she was truly someone you treasure, then even if her final moments are brutal and unforgiving, you would wish to remain by her side all the same. <sighs> now, go inside. Go to Red Hood. Uh, uh, I... I will. Thank you, Scarlet. Hmm. Heavens above. I goad others to follow this advice when I would have a devil of a time following it myself. This battle's finished. Moving on. How is she doing? <sighs> She's stable, although she hasn't regained full mobility just yet. She can talk, though. Rapunzel, let's go out for a moment. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry. Come here. I thought you left something behind. Did you find it? Yes, I found it. Good. Then you can rest easy. Red Hood, I... Do you want to listen to some music? <sighs> yes. Is that everyone? You can lie down if you'd like, Red Hood. I'm fine. No need to coddle me. Hmm. Now then... I'll explain our next course of action. <sighs> We're calling off any potential search for Cinderella. We will head to the lift with our current crew. Good. Okay. Understood. I shall wield my sword with aplomb. The operation will be carried out immediately after this amalgamation is handed over to the superiors. We should be setting out tomorrow morning. Our mission is simple. After getting as close as possible via air, We'll descend, break through the rapture line of defense, and proceed to the lift. After that, we'll take the lift up to the station. Once there, we kill the queen. You call that simple? Doesn't sound so simple to me. Doesn't it seem like we're going back to the old days? Exactly. From here on out, everyone is responsible for their own maintenance. That is all. Rapunzel? What is it, Red Hood? Are you not feeling well? That's not it. I just wanted to give you a gift. <sighs> now I see why Snow White was reluctant to receive a gift. It all feels so sudden. Don't tell me you're gonna start crying and running off as well. No, I'm used to it by now. I'll gladly accept any gift you choose to give me. Something wrong? No, it's just... This is an unexpected gift. The title is rather interesting. 
Blinding Passion Volume 1? Coming from you, I figured it'd be something like a cassette tape. I figured I ought to give you something that could be useful. <laughs> Thanks. Why don't you take a look? It's about humans and their lives. This isn't some weird magazine like before, is it? Of course not. Just look at the cover. It's totally normal. Very well. I'll trust you. Huh. Huh. Wait a... Hmm. <gasps> Ow! Watch the face! What was that for? <sighs> this... This is a dirty mag! My eyes! My eyes! <laughs> Told you it was anthropological in nature. Pretty interesting, eh? It's not interesting at all! How come you can't take your eyes off it, then? It's just... It's my first time seeing this kind of stuff. I know. That's why I gave it to you. You're trying to corrupt me! Oh, relax. Don't get your knickers in a twist. You've been living your entire life with safety wheels on. You were destined to become the next female religious leader from the day you were born. So you've been living your life based on other people's expectations. Becoming a Nike wasn't your choice either, am I right? <sighs> so how about pivoting and steering yourself in your own direction? That, that doesn't mean I'm interested in stuff like this. You say that, but you seem awfully intrigued whenever the topic crops up. What makes you so sure about that? <sighs> I'm amazed that you thought people wouldn't realize. Anyway, it might not be my business, but I just thought it was a little sad, that's all. You are bound by your duty, unlike me. As for me, I've always lived my life exactly how I wanted to. Red Hood, I've wavered for a while now on whether I should say this or not, but... What is it? When I look at you now... <sighs> It feels to me like you can't wait to die. What? I can feel that you're trying to tie up everything in a pretty bow so that you can die without any regrets. You're like a battle-hardened and weary soldier, sitting around waiting for death to claim you. You're not totally off base. Listen, the Red Hood I know would never give up. No matter who the adversary is, or how tough a mission lies ahead, you'd face it head-on with grit and metal. You were never someone who resigned themselves to defeat. In case you've forgotten, I'm dying. I don't have much time left. What other option do I have? All I can do is leave things in a better state for all of you. You should fight it, like you always have. What do you want me to do? No case of corruption has ever been reversed. This is still a relatively new illness. I, along with VTC, have been working day and night to find a cure. So please, I beg of you, don't let go. Even if it may mean leaving some things unfinished, I will do everything in my power to make you better. Hmm, okay, I'll believe you. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Reloading! Cover me! Sorry to break it! Let's get this party started! Everyone, focus your fire! Reload! Reload! Did you see that? I'm strong, but my comrades are stronger. I made some improvements to your staff. The trajectory of the beam won't warp or bend in high humidity. Although I should stress that doesn't mean there won't be any deviations at all. <sighs> uh, uh, Rapunzel? Huh? What is it? Uh, are you listening to me? Oh, yeah, sure, I heard you. Thanks. What were you reading just now? It's... Uh, just some study material. What are you studying? I... 
I'd rather not say. Hmm. I altered Scarlet's armor so that it's thinner around the waist, so that her center of balance is centered more on her legs. That'll open up her back a bit more, and the extra weight on her legs will only serve to make them stronger. I still proclaim that thou wasted time on this. I can do my part perfectly well without such revisions. Fine then. Return the armor and we'll put it back the way it was. I scarcely believe such extreme measures are necessary. As for Dorothy, I made some modifications to your outfit so that it won't get dirty as easily. Perfect. Dorothy, my curiosity has been piqued for some time. Why do you place so much emphasis on your posture during a fight? You obsess over strategy when it's something that could be easily solved by using your own body. Fighting using your own body seems so barbaric to me. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. What I meant was that I don't think it's very smart. Come again? You're just digging yourself into a hole, Dorothy. Can I talk to you for a minute, Dorothy? Save it for the operation. Snow White, continue. I'd rather talk now. Uh, anyway, I didn't make any modifications to Lilith's armor or weaponry. As I can't make heads or tails of her tech in the first place. <laughs> Thanks anyway. It's the thought that counts. As for Red Hood, the wiring of your weapon was in a shambles, so I cleaned it up. There was a lot of gunk built up in the muzzle, and for some reason I can't possibly fathom, there was spaghetti crammed into the magazine. I can scarcely believe it myself, but there were even a few mushrooms growing on the butt of the rifle. <laughs> You're kidding. Do you want to see? <laughs> no, it's okay. Anyway, once I gave it a thorough cleaning, there were no lasting issues. It's clearly been built to last. You could have just said that to begin with. We didn't need that whole preamble. As for you, Commander, perhaps I could give you a throat lozenge? Huh? Why would I need that? Well, there's really not much else you do other than scream orders. I feel personally attacked. That concludes our battle preparation. Our ammo is more than sufficient and everyone appears to be in optimal condition. All that's left is to head into the fray. In that case, let's go. We've still got a few moments to spare. Dorothy? Scarlet? Any chance I could talk to you two? Oh, do you want to act as a referee when I instruct Dorothy? I'm going to show her the joy of using one's body in combat. D do you realize how insane you sound right now? Are you okay, Rapunzel? She picks up certain things a bit too quickly. I just have something I want to say to you both in private. I don't want to impose, but could I come and watch as well? No. As I've mentioned before, this will probably be my last operation. So I wanted to leave you all with a small memento. Unfortunately, I don't know what you guys would like. So, if there's anything you need, now's the time to tell me. That's the reason why you gathered us together? Yep. Huh. I didn't peg you for someone so sentimental. Me? Sentimental? I don't need anything, and I refuse to say farewell. I'm not saying it now, and I won't say it later. This isn't your style. Besides, you still don't know whether the corruption will manifest itself or not. You are most optimistic. Think what you want. I'm going to do some maintenance. What about you, swordsman? Anything you want? Nay. I see. Did you work things out with Snow White? Yep. Everything's patched up. When the time comes, though, I think she'll be disappointed in me. Hmm. You're not... It's a secret between me and her. Hmm. Very well. I can understand where you're coming from. I appreciate that. You've taken on a lot. I'll leave it to you from now on. Mm. I'm anxious. 
Infinite Magazine. Nikkei's charge! Initiate long-range airstrike support. Hold altitude. Maintain speed. We're going as far as we can. We've been detected by the Raptures. We're being targeted by their anti-aircraft guns. Transitioning to autopilot. We'll attack in one minute. We'll meet at the nearest rendezvous point J. Once we've all joined up, we're going to make a mad rush for the lift. We're against the clock here. We need to launch a surprise attack before the Raptures have time to react. Don't use your parachutes. Use the reverse injection device instead. I only have one command for you. Wipe them all out. Red Hood! Okay, let's do this. Wow, they're everywhere. Let's start with the three o'clock direction. You got it! Wolf Spain ready! Seven dwarves ready! Let's obliterate these fools! Garish and overdone entrance, if I say so myself. I second that statement. We've encountered the Beam Soldier model. We're too deep behind enemy lines. Can you not disrupt the beam with your sword? Tis worth a try. Don't, or else you're toast. Scarlet, will your sword work against this thing? As if thou had to ask. I shall show thee what it means to render heaven and earth asunder. I still have room for improvement. I should have slain this vermin with greater haste. Point clear. Proceeding in the two o'clock direction. Wouldn't it be advisable to take a detour? There's no time. Lilith has already gone in that direction. Then what are we standing around yapping for? Let's move!
Shall we go? I have met my match. Victory is not assured. Kilometer until the lift. Is everyone okay? All good. There are presumably elite units guarding the entrance. And there might be an enemy threat inside the lift as well. But that shouldn't pose a problem. You are all strong. Isn't that right, Commander? <sighs> right. So, super strong. Can't you try to be a bit more composed? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm human. We did just run three kilometers without stopping. Uh-oh. You see that big boy in front of us? Uh, say that again? Ultra. Uh, everyone be wary of its tentacles. Get re- <sighs> Red Hood, maintain your position. Sorry, but there's no time for that. <sighs> everyone, file in after Red Hood. We're going up against Ultra. Once we take it down, the lift will be right in front of us. Let's go! Encounter! on us, that thing wouldn't have been a challenge at all. Let's get in the lift. You don't have to tell me twice. There might be enemy units inside. Everyone be on your guard. Is everything all right with the spacesuit, Commander? All good. I've always wanted to wear one of these. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited. Uh-huh. Well then, let's go. Hmm? Ouch! Dang! That's bright! Looks like the sun came out to welcome us. How cliched can you get? Check out the sky, Snow. Isn't it beautiful? Hmm. What's wrong? Everyone, look over there. Do you know what that is? Is it me? Or does that look like a human? 
Perhaps it's a new type of decoy? I thought they'd given up the notion of air superiority, but they might have changed their minds. Tis a most peculiar shape for a decoy. It just moved. Something's coming out of it. Is it splitting apart? It looks like a giant... wet... Rapunzel, are you okay? It's all my fault for corrupting her. Let me see. Does anyone have binoculars? Why don't you just use the zoom function on your phone? Good call. Snow White always coming in clutch with the tech tips. <sighs> I thought this was common knowledge. I don't think that's a decoy. Hmm? Hmm. It's Cinderella. What? The face is exactly the same as the one I received in the dossier. I can see the glass slippers as well. But her eyes... Huh. <laughs> Everyone, take cover! Get ready to counterattack! <sighs> what the hell are these things? Are all of them beams? There's no way we can evade them! Rapunzel! On it! She's firing another volley! What? Again? I'll try to block it! Red Hood, under and over! Got it! She's mine! Deflected it? Ah! Red Hood! We've got more beams incoming! What is this? There's no way she's controlling that many beams by herself! I'm low on power! I can't create any more distortion rings! I shall sever her in two! Don't be insane! Just hold on tight! Commander, cover your mouth and nose! So fast! I... I can't breathe! Deal with it! This is our only chance of escaping! Why are we escaping? We can't win! My ass, we can't! I'll... If you're so intent on dying, at least wait until we've defeated this thing! is one thing I don't have a lot of. <sighs> Oh. <sighs> Where's Lilith? She pushed herself to the limit and had to undergo maintenance. She'll be immobile for some time. Uh, okay. So what happens next? Mankind will escape underground. The world will fall into the hands of raptures. And humans will die out. Not necessarily. From what I hear, the living conditions in the Ark are actually quite ideal. The only downside is its limitations with regard to size. What do we do now? We help with the move. And after that? Most likely reside in the Ark and prepare for retaliation. I see. Hmm. All right. I'm calling it. What? 
I'm at my limit. I doubt I have many days left. Today may well be my last. What are you talking about? You said you'd stay with us until the end. Sorry, kid. I lied. <sighs> I'll die in my hometown. That was something I decided a long time ago. At first, I wanted to die on the battlefield, fighting alongside you all. But we managed to make it out alive. So I'm going. You, you can't go! I won't let you! Snow? Hmm. Listen to me carefully. The wolf must die under the well. Everyone has a predestined final resting place. I'm not destined to die here. Don't lie. I know you want to stay here with us. You like this place. You were willing to die alongside us. Hmm. Fine. You got me. No more beating around the bush. This thing we call corruption, it won't kill me. Not directly, at least. It will only end when someone else puts me out of my misery. If I stay here, the corruption will slowly take over me, and you'll be forced to make a terrible choice. When the time comes, will you be able to go through with it? <gasps> Promise that you'll shoot me. But will you be able to do it without crying? You can't. You're all far too nice for that. The last thing I'll ever see is all of you bawling your eyes out. What kind of final image is that to go out on? I'd never want that. So I'm leaving. I'll go away and die quietly. Okay. If that is your decision, I won't stop you. You've earned the right to choose for yourself. Thank you, boss. And everyone. Dorothy, if you would, please restrain Snow White. <sighs> hey! Let me go! Let go! Be good. Kid. It's been fun. Just 